What do you think? That's quite smooth. Look how huge. Why do I feel like I'm in golden eye? Ding, 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 ding. Hello everyone and welcome back to Beauty Lab at Home where we test the latest new makeup, hair care, skincare launches straight from our bedrooms. Do not forget to subscribe so you don't miss a single one of our episodes. Today we have the Amica Hair Blow Dryer Brush. But all. Ooh. Ooh. So I've taken out the packaging and she's a big girl. Look how huge, oh, literally the size of my face. And my face is not small, I've got a big old face. Honestly, it's about half the size of my face. <laughs> so it's absolutely huge, which I'm hoping means it's gonna give me like loads of volume. She's also like a bit of a different shape to other blow dry brushes I've used. She's more um, like cylindrical. Is cylindrical a word? Cylind cylindrical. She's not round, you know, like there we go. Why do I feel like I'm a golden eye? Ding, 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 ding. So this is like a traditionally shaped blow dry brush, but it is mega. And essentially all the hot air comes through these vents here. So that's why it's shaped like a traditional round brush because that's how you would use round brushes to create like a big bouncy blow dry. The good thing about this is it will dry your hair the same time as getting into that like beautiful, Kate Middleton blow dry that we all want but can never achieve. And if you can achieve it, why are you watching this video? Okay, please don't upset me further. I have like very, very fine flat hair. Um, so I'm hoping this will give quite a lot of volume. It has three adjustable heat speed settings to create volume and smoothness on every type of hair. It has a tourmaline coated barrel, which generates negative ions. And f I mean, I switch off at that point, you know. They have two different types of bristles. So you have these longer ones with the um, bubbles on it, which help with like not being aggressive on your scalp and help with detangling. And then it's got these shorter bristles as well, which normally help with smoothing the cuticle down. So it says it's best to use on towel dried hair. So my hair is towel dried. I just actually just spritzed it with a bit of water. I'm interested to see how easy this is to maneuver just because of how big the even like this bit, is, the base is chunky, you know? Now, for me, I cannot blow dry my hair. I do not have the upper body strength to do so. Or the patience. If this works, this is the kind of thing that would change the life of my hair, you know? So it says high temperature and speed are ideal for thick and coarse hair. Medium temperature and low speed are best for fine and detail work. And slow temperature with high speed gives any hair type a sleek finish. I'm gonna put it on to the hottest heat setting so that I can get this as voluminous as possible. Let's just go in. Can you hear me? Hello, Prince George. What do you think? That's quite smooth. I'm sweating. This 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 baby gets hot. I thought it would give it like um a curl as well around the barrel, but I don't think that's the case. Okay, what do you think so far? Oh. Okay, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Let's continue. I'm taking the two-handed approach. She's chunky. Selfie. I'm not getting like the blow dry vibes, but maybe that's not what this is for. Maybe this is for doing like what hairdressers call foundation work. So when you like do the initial blow dry and then you go in and you do like a tong or you like go back in with a straightener to create a style. Okay, bottom layer done. Now onto the top layer. Now let's see if I can get like proper, you know, 70s Charlie's Angels hair. I'm finished. I feel like a literal weight has come off my head. You know when you have that fresh salon blow dry? That's how it feels. It's less of a Kate Middleton blow dry and more of like a Kendall Jenner blow dry. Like very effortless. If I had more layers in my hair, I think I could get more of that lift. But because the barrel is so large, it's just given me like a nice 
sleek blow dry i will definitely use that again i think if your hair is all one length and quite long i don't know if this would be the one for you depending on the style you want but if you have fully embraced the kind of 70s 90s layers fringe i think you would love this but yeah i'm really happy with the result okay final thoughts this is a lovely way to straighten your hair but for my hair texture it just didn't really give me the bouncy blow dry that it says on the tin um even if i took a small section and um i wouldn't use this on my natural hair when it's damp because of the smaller bristle so i would only use it from already like straight as a refresher and if it can't do what it says on the tin for me i probably wouldn't use this for a blow drying brush but maybe just as a top up of something that's already been straightened but it's so lovely to hold and like as a brush it's really nice but um i think that it definitely works better for more straight styles and um finer hair than my really thick hair I'm actually really impressed. That was so quick. I think brushing a hairdryer through your hair obviously like dries the bottom bit so much quicker than if you're just blasting it with the hairdryer. Because obviously when you use your hairdryer, all the heat is on the top and you have to kind of lift it up and section underneath and dry that. When you're brushing this thing through, it, it's heating kind of from all the sides. So yeah, it dried my hair so quickly. And also like it makes such a difference to use one of these brushes because it just leaves the hair so much smoother. I was expecting it to kind of give me like this like <laughs> amazing like bouffant blow dry and it really hasn't but that could just be because my hair is very long and quite heavy so it doesn't tend to get much volume no matter what I do um, but I do think I do love how smooth it looks like I'm so impressed and I just can't believe how quickly it dried my hair like it's a dream really. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Beauty Lab at home. Leave us a comment down below. Tell us what you want us to review next and we will see you in the next one. Bye.